Welcome back to Real Life Reviews and in this video we're going to take a look at the Hoka Owner Owner Tecton X2. What's special about this shoe? Well, this is a carbon plated trail shoe and whilst carbon plates have exploded into the market of road running, we've not really seen much of them in trail shoes. So, let's take a look at this little beauty. Let's start with the numbers then. This shoe has a five millimeter drop. That's going from uh, 32 millimeters at the heel to 27 at the forefoot. So a five mil drop. Most trail shoes that people are looking at now are in the four mil region. So one mil, I don't think many people are gonna see much difference. Um, other numbers, weight. Well, this is actually quite a light shoe. Let's just have a look at it on the scales. Let's just confirm the weight then. UK size 8, Tecton X2, 253 grams. So that's pretty good actually. Um, a trail shoe of this sort of ilk, and we'll talk about terrain and so on shortly, but a trail shoe of this sort of ilk, we're probably normally looking in the 275, 285, 290 gram range, a little bit under 300 grams. Um, is that noticeable? Well, do you know what, on your foot? No, I don't think it is particularly. In the hand, it is, and this does feel a light shoe. Now the other number you're gonna be particularly interested in is cost. It's a carbon plated shoe, and you are gonna pay a little bit for it. UK pounds, you're going to spend about 180 and there are deals to be had you need to look around a bit uh, and we have a link to wiggle in the description down below more of that later uh, but if you do go through there uh, you sometimes get some really good deals but for us more importantly it helps keep the channel going we get a tiny portion of what you spend and you spend no more so yep a five mil drop pretty light 180 pounds ish construction well let's start at the top it's got a completely new upper for hoka it's a uh, water resistant it's a hydrophobic um, upper and it's 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 quite dense it's light but it, it's quite dense if I turn the shoe over and we look at the tongue and see if you can see inside there uh, it is a gusseted tongue um, and it's a flat lay gusset with a tongue that has minimal cushioning. It's got, again, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but on top here, it's got a little bit of extra padding where the laces are going to come and tighten in a bit, but it's quite a thin tongue. I actually find it quite comfortable. You might have guessed, I've just fairly recently come in from a trail run wearing these shoes. Um, I've given the bottom a bit of a clean, but you can still see some of the mud. And I did find the tongue, the gusseting and the top, I do find them particularly comfortable. So standard Hoka for me there. I, I do like the comfort of Hoka shoes. Now to the part that many of you are probably most interested in, the midsole. This is Hoka's Profly X construction. And as a foam, I really like it. It's, it's a really good, what I call compromise, and I mean that in a positive way. So it's not the most responsive uh, of midsoles, nor is it the most cushioned, but it's a great balance between the two. Now, cards on the table, I'm not sponsored by Hoka, but I do really like their trail shoes. And the balance that this Profly X gives as a midsole foam I think is excellent. And then there's the bit that we all are interested in, there's the carbon plates within. I say plates, plates plural, because this shoe has two plates and they run parallel along the shoe. So it's a twin plate, parallel plated shoe. This leads me into the Meta Rocker. It's an early stage Meta Rocker on this shoe. And I, whilst I'm not particularly used to early stage Meta Rockers, uh, it's not caused me any problems whatsoever. And actually, once you've run a little bit in it, it feels quite natural. Rolling the shoe over, 
This is quite typical for Hoka. We've got uh, Hoka's, or we've got the Vibram Mega Grip sole, outsole, uh, which is particularly hard wearing. And this is married to, we've got four mil lugs here. They're quite standard lugs, uh, but they do the job. Four mil, they're not the biggest lugs you're gonna find. And this is something, this now is, is leaning us towards where do we want to use this shoe. It's, it's pretty good on mixed terrain. It's great on something like the run I've just done, which is just over five miles, and about a mile and three quarters, a little under two miles of it, it's mixed, it's mixed up. It's got concrete paths and pavements, and then trails that are quite hard packed. That's the sort of terrain that this shoe is excellent on, and you're gonna get a little bit of the benefit of the carbon plates. If you're trying to run quickly, over this hard packed mixed terrain and you've got runs that mix up a bit of concrete and trail. Uh, that's where this shoe I think is going to really specialise in. Moving back to the top, the heel collar has a nice smooth padding and it grips really well. You can probably see the sharp eyed amongst you will have noticed that I run with a heel lock uh, most of the time, particularly on my trail shoes, and I have absolutely, I just find this locks in really, really nicely. So uh, the combination of the heel lock, I wouldn't say you need it necessarily, but it's what I do, and this heel system, uh, it's very, very good. And whilst we're on fit, they're true to size. It's got, I think, quite a nice wide toe box. I don't have particularly wide feet, but I do like the size for my feet to swell and expand if they need to. And with that in mind, uh, I mentioned a bit about terrain that this would be good for. I, this shoe would be, I think, also particularly, uh, particularly good for some ultras as well. Uh, but size eight, go for it. If you know you're a size eight, this is a size eight, UK or European 42. Hoka's Tecton X2 a twin plated carbon plated trail shoe good for mixed trails good for ultra distance hydrophobic upper to dispel water really comfy heel and gusseted tongue uh, profly x construction midsole vibram mega grip outsole all round a pretty lightweight solid good performing trail shoe if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, give it that thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you'd like to buy the shoe, as I mentioned earlier, we have a link to Wiggle in the description down below. And every little bit you spend there, we get a tiny proportion, you spend no more, and it just helps keep the channel going. If you haven't yet subscribed, well, please click on the little round picture just down there. And then some other reviews, the Hoka Speedgoat 5 up there, the New Balance Fuel Cell SC Elite V3 is up there. And then down there, down there, we've got the Hoka Aura Recovery Shoe. Thank you.